Hey guys, welcome back. So if you clicked on this video, that's because you're not here for makeup routine. You're not here for a makeup tutorial. You're not here to hear me tell jokes because bitch, I know I am not funny. <laughs> but today we're going to be talking about what exactly I do on my hair, how I take care of it, how I keep it curly. Um, so if you want to know my tips and tricks on getting nice, healthy, curly-ish, Kind of hair or just hair in general honestly it works on any hair um keep watching everything that i'm gonna be talking about is gonna be listed below my social meets will be below and again if you are new hello i'm little troublemaker stay on trouble in the dailies and since you're already here might as well fucking subscribe you know but anyways let's get into this video right now Okay, so today I have like no makeup on. Uh, if anything, I have just brow gel. And if you want to see how you, I get this nice clear-ish skin, I kind of had a little pimple right there. Um, there's a video that I have on my skincare routine for this year because honestly, it's always changing up. I'm always trying new things. But at the moment, that is my current um, skincare routine if you are interested. So first off... To take care of hair, it comes to the shampoo and conditioner. I was going to say so. The shampoo and conditioner you, you're using. Um, I use the Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Special um, Shampoo and Conditioner. So tea tree oil, it... Well, tea tree oil, yeah. It kind of has like um, an antibiotic kind of effect to it. So it kind of like rids your head of like any bacteria and stuff like that that it might get throughout the day because of pollution and stuff like that um and it does help like like it wakes you up in the morning honestly because you know the minty feel you have when you're chewing gum like it wakes you up it's that sensation on your head basically and i love it so much my friend um she used to go to school there, and that's where I originally found this. Um, so I'll be honest, this because it comes in a bundle where I get it from. Um, it is a little bit pricey, but you get a big amount. Like, this is it next to my head. Um, but you do get a big amount. It lasts for a while. It la this, it's almost been a year, and um, she's still not done. But yeah, I love this. I use this and I don't put too much um, on my head. If anything, that this is what I do. I put the shampoo on my actual head and then at the ends, I will put the conditioner. I'll put about two, three pumps because a bitch wants to be conditioned. Duh. So after that, I towel dry my hair and then I let it sit to dry and dampen a little bit. And then I'll use my Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And this locks in moisture for the rest of the day. Um, I love it. It's cruelty-free, just like the Paul Mitchell stuff. Um, it smells so good, you guys. You have no idea how good this smells. Um, and even it's nice because it tells you what the ingredients in here does. So on here, it says the coconut oil hydrates and protects hair without reducing or while reducing breakage and then it has silk protein smooths hair for a soft silky feel and then neem oil which controls frizz while adding brilliant shine so this i will generally take the tiniest scoop because it is kind of a thicker consistency so i'll get like two this looks gross but i'll get like two fingers scoop that up and that's honestly all i need for the bottom end and then i'll get another scoop and then put it for the top end and that's it because if you put too much you're gonna have like a big goopy mess in your hair and you're gonna walk around the whole day like that um and honestly i feel like everyone knows the max amount they should be putting on something if you put you know if you put too much it's too much if you put too little it's not it's gonna feel like too little I feel like everyone kind of can feel when they're putting too much or too little. So, but that's how much I use. I just get like two little scoops and then put it in my hair. And then also I will put a gel 
but it comes in a can uh, container like this. It's from Shea Moisture also. I do not have it with me because I'm dumb and I threw it away. Um, but it comes, it's, I think it's the same line as this one because there are different like scents and also different uh, uses with the Shea Moisture brand. Um, but the gel I'll use, I'll get a small amount and I'll just run it through my hair while it's still damp. So the gel kind of locks in this along with it. So your hair, like it curls, it's hydrated and it keeps the curl throughout the day. So then after that, towards like the night, what I'll do is I'll get, again, I don't have the product with me, um, but I use OGX. I'm not entirely sure if they're cruelty free. I will look into that. If not, I'm pretty sure I could find a replacement for it. But what I'll use, I use the OGX coconut hairspray. Well, it's not a hairspray, but it's um, a spray that sprays coconut um, smoothing kind of oil into your hair and I'll spray I'll like divide my hair up into three different sections and I'll spray it within those areas and then I'll just like put it throughout my hair I don't know why it's hard for me to talk it's always hard for me to talk because the bitch doesn't stop talking but anyways um, I'll just put it throughout my entire like all my hair especially the ends because if you guys do not know, the ends are always the first to get damaged. That's why you get haircuts and stuff like that to kill, well, to take off the dead ends and stuff like that. Um, I don't typically, I don't usually use blow dryers um, or curling irons or straining irons. Usually I just do this whole routine to keep my hair healthy. And my hair used to be up to here in the beginning of the year. And she's going down all the way here. So that's how you know a bitch is doing something right because that's like this much hair that's grown throughout the year. And I think that's a pretty good amount. Like, But yeah, that is usually what I'll do. Um, I'll braid it and then in the morning I'll take it out. And you want to use the spray, the coconut spray, you want to use it sparingly because you don't want to wake up with a big greasy mess in the morning. Um, it is going to hydrate your hair, but... Um, Again, you don't want a big greasy mess in the morning. Um, but that's usually what I will do. Um, and that's all I do. I don't, again, I don't really use like um, heating stuff. So that doesn't damage my hair. Because what I actually want to do is I want to grow out my hair enough so I could donate it to Locks of Love. Um, and if you don't know what Locks of Love is, they basically make wigs for people or specifically children that um are going that have cancer and they're going through chemotherapy and if you have healthy hair and you're blessed with it like might as well donate it right but yeah that's why i'm taking care of my hair so damn much um but yeah that is what i do to my hair those are my tips and tricks uh braiding your hair will keep it from getting damaged let me just add that on um, because throughout the night you like toss and turn and like rub your hair and scrape your hair like against the blankets and stuff like that. Like I know I'm a messy sleeper, so braiding always helps me. And it gives you more texture, um, to like have your hair volumized and stuff like that anyways. But again, yes, that is what I do for my hair. That is how I've had it grow so long. Um, I hope you guys did learn something from this. Um, again, everything will be linked below, especially this guy. I love it. Um, but yeah, everything will be linked below as well as my show. Uh, I can't speak again. My social media. Um, and I think that's all I have to say today, guys. So I will see you in the next video.